Hi there, in today's video we are going to talk about the flight spoiler and the ground spoiler of the Boeing 737-800. We will see, we are going to see where they are located, what they are used for, okay, and then you will understand the difference between the flight spoiler and the ground spoiler. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from pilotclimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. So if this is what you want to do, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to support my job, please give it a like to the video. So what are these flight spoiler and ground spoiler? Okay, these flight spoiler and ground spoiler are panels that are located on top of the wing, on the upper part of the wing, that are used to reduce the, the energy of the plane by reducing the lift and increasing the drag. Okay, so but where are they located exactly? If you look an aircraft from above, you will see that the left wing of the Boeing 737-800 and the right wing of the Boeing 737-800, they have four flight spoilers per each wing, so four on the left wing and four on the right wing, and two ground spoilers per each wing, so two on the left wing and two on the right wing, okay? Each panel is numbered, has got a number, in order to, because in that way it's easier for us to recognize in case of any problem. So the first ground spoiler has got number one, then you've got the second panel, which is the first flight spoiler, has got number two, the three, four, and five are the flight spoiler, the number six is the ground spoiler, then on the other wing we've got number seven, the ground spoiler, 8, 9, 10, 11, we've got the flight spoilers, and then the number 12 is the ground spoiler. So as you can see, the ground spoiler and the flight spoiler, they are very close over the wing, so they are pretty much co-located. However, we use and they get extended in a different phase of a flight. The flight spoiler and the ground spoiler are operated hydraulically. What does it mean? The Boeing 77-800 has got the system A, hydraulic system, the system B, hydraulic, and the standby system, okay? The ground spoiler are powered by the system A and the flight spoiler are powered by system A and system B, okay? So let me give you an example. The system B, this is very important to understand, guys, because in this case, by, by powering the flight spoiler in the way that I'm going to tell you, we have some redundancy, okay? What I mean by that is that the system B powers two flight spoiler per each wing, okay? And the system A powers two flight spoiler per each wings. Okay, in this case, if you have a, a loss of system, a loss of hydraulic system, system A or system B, what will happen is that two uh, flight spoiler per wing won't operate it. This will make sure that in case of an hydraulic problem, we will still have some, uh, the flight spoiler to operate it symmetrically in the wings, because if the system A only operates the flight spoiler on the left wing, for example, what will happen is that if you lose the system A, you're gonna have the flight spoiler on the right wing that will extend all of them and you won't have any flight spoiler on the left wing that can be dangerous because that can create actually a roll moment, okay? But by doing this uh, cross-powering of the system, so the system A operates two flight spoiler on the left wing, the system B operates two flight spoiler per each wing, we'll, we'll make sure that that won't happen, okay? So now that you understand where the flight spoiler and ground spoiler are located and how are they powered, let's see for which reason we've got them on the wings and why we use them, okay? We use these flight and ground spoilers mainly for three reasons. The first and most important reason is to increase the roll authority of the, of the airplane. So when you bank to the right, you will see that the right wing will go down. It goes down because the right wing goes down because the right aileron that is mounted on the, at the end of the wing will go up reducing the lift, thus the wing will drop, okay? And what will happen? If you look at the wing of a wing when you are passenger, so you see that when the aircraft is banking, you will see that the aileron will move up and the uh, flight spoiler as well will help this, okay? Will move up as well, okay? On a right turn, for example, you will see that the right aileron will move up and the right spo flight spoilers will move up also. And on the left wing, okay, what will happen is that the left aileron will go down and the flight spoiler will stay like that, will stay retracted, okay? So, first of all, flight spoilers are used for increase the, the roll authority of the plane, okay? The second reason why we use the flight spoiler is to reduce the lift and increase the drag, okay? In this case, we use them when you're flying and you need to lose altitude quickly or you need to reduce your airspeed, okay? So let's say you're flying and then suddenly the controller, the air traffic controller gives you a shortcut. In that case, that means that you are very high compared to the position where you should be, okay? So that means that you need to lose altitude very quickly. 
And in order to do that, what you need to do, you need to uh, reduce your lift. You need to kill the lift, basically. By extending the speed brake, the flight spoiler will extend to their maximum in-flight degree, okay? They will extend to their maximum position for the in-flight phase, thus will kill the lift and will increase the drag. And that will up, what will happen is that you will see that your rate of descent for a given speed will increase, okay? The same applies if you are on level flight and the controller tells you to reduce your speed uh, quick, quick, quickly, okay? So what will happen is that on a level flight, you extend the speed brake and you will see that the aircraft will slow down faster compared to an aircraft that has got the flight uh, spoiler retracted, okay? The speed brake retracted, okay? So then on the last and uh, the, the third reason why we use them, this uh, safety, safety reason, okay, is that when you land, I'm sure you've seen as a passenger, you land, and then suddenly a lot of panels on the wing, on the wing get extended. And that is because upon landing, the flight spoiler and the ground spoiler will extend all, okay, we, you're gonna have all of them extended to their maximum extension, okay, to their maximum deflection, okay, because what will happen is that let's compare okay the flight spoiler extended in a, in a in the flight and the flight spoiler extended on the ground you will see that the flight spoiler once they, they are in the ground uh, logic will extend more compared to the flight spoiler in the flight okay it's because if you extend to their maximum position the flight spoiler in flight you will decrease the lift too much and you will basically uh, jeopardize the lift capability of the wing but on the ground you want the lift to be reduced as much as as, as you can okay so what will happen is that on the ground okay the speed brake will extend it to their full to the up position the ground spoiler and the flight spoiler will extend to their maximum deflection okay so you will see that the ground spoiler so the the, the panels the ground spoiler and the flight spoiler will be all extended this what will happen this will reduce the lift first of all which is very important and by reducing the lift the weight of the plane is going to go on the brake on the landing gear and this will increase the brake uh, efficiency of the plane okay because guys we need to think about this because upon landing the aircraft still has the wing and these wings they will produce lift thus this wing will hold the weight of the plane and if the if the aircraft is lighter than it's supposed to be the way the brakes won't work uh, efficiently okay the the, the, the the aircraft will it will take longer the aircraft to stop because the wing is still producing lift holding the weight of the plane so what you want in order to increase the brake efficiency you want the full weight of the aircraft being on top of the landing gear okay being on top of the of the wheels okay this will increase the brake efficiency okay so upon landing you will see that you land and then the fly spoiler and ground spoiler goes the full extending position the lift is reduced as much uh, to the maximum rate possible and on top of that but because they are actually surfaces that are extended will increase the drag of the plane Okay, the next time you're flying as a passenger, if you feel this very, very light turbulence, okay, it's not like a normal turbulence, it's a very light turbulence, look outside the windows because most probably the flight spoiler are extended because when the pilot extends the flight spoiler in order to reduce the energy of the plane, these will extend the flight spoiler and this, what happens is that the, 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 the air from top of the wing will be turbulent and this will create a very light turbulence on board of the plane, okay, and this maybe is a nice thing to do, okay, next time you, you are as a passenger, you feel this light turbulence look outside you will see the flight spoiler most probably are extended okay now that we talked about normal operations okay everything is normal okay we've got the flight spoiler the ground spoiler system a system b and so on let's talk about what happened if you lose the system a for example the most important thing that you need to consider if you lose the hydraulic system a is that you will need more meters for your landing distance so your landing distance required will be longer why it's because if you lose if you lose a system a okay your ground spoiler and two flight spoiler per each wing will stay retracted thus upon landing you won't have that uh, brake efficiency that you have in a normal aircraft in a fully serviceable aircraft the same applies if you lose the system b okay if you lose the system b two flight spoiler per each wing won't operate thus the flight spoiler won't be that efficient if you need them okay especially even during landing because during landing if you lose the system A, you will still have the ground spoiler extended. You will still have two flight spoiler extended. However, two flight spoiler per each wing will be retracted because the system B is inoperative, okay? So guys, I hope I, I help you a little bit uh, to understand this flight spoiler, ground spoiler, and what are the differences between these two and how can, when can you, you should use them, okay? If you have any questions, leave a comment below and then I will help you out. Also go to paloclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.
Jack, we can set to 7-0, please. 